five, you got 600 wins in a row after the five losses in a row. You know, you talk about championships, you know, both the national and the conference. How important is this game in the scheme of things in 2019 football? Uh, how important is this game? Yeah. It's huge. I mean, I mean, it's it's huge from a national standpoint because obviously if we lose this game, I mean, they're gonna kick us out. They don't want us in there anyway. Uh, I mean, it, we'd be we'd be we'd drop to twenty. You know, I mean, Georgia loses to this very same team, and the very next day, it's how do we keep Georgia in it? We win to the team that beat South Carolina, and it's we. How do we get Clemson out? It's the dadgum mistake. So it's big because, you know, they can't vote us out. I mean, we gotta we gotta go under we gotta go thirty and oh. I mean, we ain't got no choice. But we don't play nobody. So I mean it's big from a national standpoint, but it's huge for this state. And it's huge for our program. And yeah, we lost five in a row and and, and a big part of that we were fifteen turnovers to their three in that five game stretch. You know, and we were, you know, a couple of those years, I thought we had the better team. A couple of those years, they had the better team. And, you know, uh, maybe even on another year. But we had 15 turnovers to their three. Well, you get your butt beat. Well, we've turned that around. Uh, we've either been even or we've won the margin. And so in, in championship games, uh, in rivalry games, it's huge. I mean, you look at the game yesterday in Virginia, Virginia Tech. I think VTech had four turnovers to Virginia's one. You know, so it's hard to win games when you when you don't take care of the football. And so, you know, we we and, and they were great. They had some really really good teams that could really take advantage of those those opportunities. Uh, and and they were a part of creating them too. So, um, but uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. I mean, that was a tough stretch for us. But we were still a really good team. I mean, we were winning BCS bowls. We were winning ACC championship. We were winning eleven games. Uh, but we we just would get in this game and not take care of the ball. I mean, I think, I don't have to do really do much to get them motivated every week. I mean, they live in in this world, so I mean, you know, it's just kind of every single week's been that way all year long. Some guy said the other day on the radio said, "Well, y'all are pre North Carolina." I'm like, "What game season have you watched?" I mean, because it's like the red. Like you want me to agree with that? We're the same team. We, we've dominated 11 out of 12 games. Dominated. We're not any different. There's no pre-North Carolina. We just had one close game where we stumped. We turned it over. We gave up big play. We just didn't do it, but we won. You know, we won. And uh, But we've been the most – we've been – there's nobody been more consistent than us. We've been unbelievably consistent. You know, but, uh, you know, again, our league doesn't get the credit. Uh, maybe we need some of them ACC guys on some of them big network shows that they have. <laughs> They don't none of them from the ACC. Uh, maybe we ought to put Beret on there, you know. But all I can tell you is we 10 and 1 versus the SEC in our last 11. And we've won 115 games this decade. So has Ohio State and so has Alabama. And we've played both of them. And our program has held – our program is what people don't focus on, you know. And let me tell you, Virginia, they'd be 93 in any league. V Tech, they'd be whatever they are, eight and four in any league. Wake Forest, they'd be eight and three or whatever they. What are they? I don't even know. They play today. Yeah, I mean, they, we got. There's a lot of good football teams in this league, uh, but you know, people just don't pay attention. But at the end of the day, it's not my job to build a good league. It's my job to build a good program, and and I think we've done uh, a nice job of that for a long time. Uh, so you know, this team has. Has gone 12 and 0, 124 years of Clemson football, and it's the fourth time ever. 1981, 2015, 2018, 2019. It's hard to do, and there's only three undefeated teams in in America. So if it was easy to be undefeated, how come there's not more than three? Because there's not, you know, there's there's some other weak leagues, as people say. How come they ain't undefeated? Uh, Y'all getting some good footage today, aren't you? <laughs> this is great. Y'all need some B-roll, riveting post-press, post-game press conference. You mentioned the program part. Is that the part that bothers you the most? The track record that you guys have established? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's just it is what it is. But hey, all aboard the Roy bus. We just want a seat. We, we're ready to go wherever we can, wherever we can go. But you got to take one step at a time. And uh, we're not entitled to win. We never go – we don't even think that way. We start over every week 
we have a very humble spirit to our team. It takes a lot of humility to prepare every week. It takes a lot of humility to pr prepare every single week, uh, you know, because you got to go earn it. And uh, our guys, our guys have that mindset, and our staff does a wonderful job. And uh, so I'm just, uh, I'm excited, man. I, I mean, I can't say enough about this team. I mean, it's just incredible what I've been able to witness. Uh, and we've won 27 games in a row. I mean, I, 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 it's, and it's like just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, the hardest thing to do is to, is to consistently win. And this group gets so excited every week to have a chance to go win again. And that is a special, special characteristic. So I have no idea. I mean, I know we're good enough to win it all. But, you know, we'll, can we go do it? Do we have the courage to do it? Can we stay focused? Can we, can we finish? We'll see. There's other good teams out there. Uh, but we definitely are a team that, that uh, has earned the right to play for this championship. And, and we've got to earn the right by winning this championship for anything else after that. Uh, so it's going to start with having a great week of practice and, and just tremendous amount of respect uh, for Virginia and what they've accomplished this year and, and, uh, and what we're going to have to do to try to win in Charlotte. What's up? Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. Don't forget to download the ESPN app. And if you want more premium content, which you do, make sure that you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. See you soon.